Hey, it's Pia. So today I'm going to be doing another book video. If you can tell by the fact that I am by my bookshelf. Well, I'm in front of it, actually. I'm not by it. It's right there. Um, anyways, I know I'm wearing kind of the same thing I wore in like two videos ago. But like, I like the shirt and I was wearing it today. And also, if I look gross, I had school today. <laughs> but anyways, I've read like three and a half books. I know I was like, oh, I'm gonna read like five books this month, but school got busy. Anyways, so if you want to hear my reviews, mini reviews on uh, books that I read recently, or you want to see what those books were, then just keep on watching. So, I need to get them from my bookshelf. Give me a sec. If you couldn't tell, I reorganized my bookshelf. I did about five times. Um, and this is how I like it right now. I'm gonna go in the order in which I read these books because I feel like that makes more sense to me and I just like order to things, you know? The first book I read is Where'd You Go, Bernadette by Maria Semple. Sorry. Um, this book centers around um, a 15 year old girl named B and she wants to have a family trip to Antarctica, I was about to say Alaska, wrong place, for her reward of being a good scholarly student. And, uh, but her mother has a meltdown and just kind of disappears. That's the where'd you go, Bernadette part, you know. Um, so it's like about five, oh my god, I just noticed it has like a mountain. Anyways, <laughs> um, I bought this book when I was in Cape Cod because um, my friend bought it <laughs> and we were both really excited to read it. I didn't like this book. <laughs> I feel so, so bad because I did buy it new, but I think it's an adult book. I don't want to say I don't read a lot of adult books. I find myself gravitating towards more YA because I'm freaking YA. What am I supposed to do about it? Anyways, um, just the way this book was written was very weird. It's a series of like letters and notes and emails and these things that um, B gathers together to try and figure out where her mom went. And it's so weird, which I thought was interesting at first, but there's no characters in here I particularly like. Um, I guess B's fine. I kind of sympathized a bit with Bernadette, but like everyone's kind of morally gray which is what you'll typically get in a um adult novel <laughs> forgot how to speak i feel like they were all just not good like i just didn't like any of them at all a lot of parts of it were just kind of boring and like very very like i don't know weird i don't know it doesn't really make much sense so yeah i didn't like this book and it was like way too long so for my rating of this book i will give it no like a two and a half stars because I, I really didn't like this book. It just was so unsatisfying to read. Sorry if you like this book, but it's my opinion. No, that's not the first book I read. I'm really bad at this because I forgot when I read these books. <laughs> but the first book I actually read was The Fault in Our Stars. I know it's gonna be surprising for you to hear, for anyone to hear, truly, but I had never read this book until when I read it in like mid-August, because my reviews are like mid month to mid month because I'm weird like that but yeah I've never read this book I've had it for around two years and I just never picked it up but after reading what was the book I read before this one? uh Fahrenheit 451 maybe to my last book review so I don't really remember I love John Green so much like I can't comprehend his existence because he can literally write a book in the perspective of a teenage girl and then a teenage guy and it like perfect it doesn't even you don't even question like his all like that he's john green and he's not like this little schlump and he's not like freaking a teenager with a teenage girl with like like cancer what <laughs> i aspire to be john green john green is like my spirit animal and he's like my goal in life so yeah anyways um i loved this book if that goes without saying i have loved every john green book i've read i've only read two but i do own i think all of his books but it's amazing i have a couple of post-its in here that i cr oh. <laughs> like i know i knew the ending to this book going into it but i like once i started reading i did not want to like accept it and i was like bawling crying i wasn't even bawling i was literally like i was a mess i'm <laughs> reading this book oh this book was so good it's so sweet and it's so good and if you haven't read it you need to because it will change your life and it honestly has changed my life i love this book so good so i think it goes without saying that i gave this book a five 
out of five. I mean, just, just this book, just, <sighs> I love it so much. I could actually cry talking about it. Like, ugh. Next book I read is a little bit of a short one. It is The Alchemist um, by Paolo, Paolo Colejo. Everyone loves me. Anyways, um, this book is pretty short. I think it's like 160 something pages. It's classic. It is, it was on my reading list, but, uh, wasn't the book that I chose. I don't know. We didn't do anything with that book, so why did... Anyways, um, I really, really liked this book. Um, I think it was very good that I read this after I read Where'd You Go Bernadette because I just, like, in the contrast of how much I dislike that book and how much I really like this book... Um, I really like the story. It just centers... I didn't even tell you what the Fault in Our Stars is about. You probably know what it's about. Never mind. <laughs> um, it basically centers around a young shepherd boy who wants to travel and explore. And he has this dream about, you know, finding treasure in the pyramids. And everyone's telling him to, like, go after it. He meets this king. He meets a gypsy woman. And it's just, like, his adventure through the desert to try and, like, find his destiny. And, you know, it's really all about, like, dreams and pursuing them because you don't want to wait until it's too late in your life. And it's just really inspirational. And actually, like, I don't know, I really, really liked it. I think it's it was very nice how, like, simple the writing was. It wasn't, like overly descriptive or anything like that that made it boring it was really nice quickly paced and I just really really liked this book and I recommend reading it because like some books that your school recommends are actually good um so I would give this a four out of five thingies the last time I did this I forgot to do the writing but I'm gonna try to remember this time okay so the last book I said I know I was like I read three and a half books so I'll, I'll explain what is this book this is a collection of short stories, yes, um, and it's called Slasher Girls and Monster Boys. Took this out of the library a little bit ago, week ago, last week, I don't know. <laughs> um, and um, it's selected by April Genevieve Touch Look. And this is just like a collection of psychological thrillers, ghost stories, that kind of spooky, spooky stuff. And since we've entered into September, I just have been needing a psychological thriller in my life. I have a lot on my list that I want to read for October, so like, <laughs> I'm very excited for that. But um, I do really want to finish this one. There's a lot in here, and um, there are some that I really liked. Um, it takes a lot to get me creeped out, which I think is sad. <laughs> Not sad, maybe it's a little bad or scary, but <laughs> um, one actually did kind of creep me out. Maybe it was added to the fact that I read this while alone downstairs at like, 10 o'clock at night and it was like dark in the windows and stuff and maybe added to the spoopiness so there are some good ones in here they're all written by ya writers um i'm not really familiar with any of these writers i think it's funny that it says in the beginning of this book that it's for everyone who read stephen king when they were way too young and I find that funny because I originally went to the library looking for Stephen King's It because of the new movie and I really want to see the movie but I want to read the book first and I have now accepted that I cannot read a thousand pages before I see the movie. So, <laughs> and it's not at my library so I, I got this book. I feel like I can't really give this a like accurate rating because one I haven't finished it but also there's individual stories. Oh the first one! I remember the first one now. That was a little... Weird. Yeah, if you guys have any like psychological thrillers that you're reading or that you like, I am so into that stuff. Like I love Criminal Minds. I love like American Horror Story, all that stuff. Like leave it down below. I really want to read You and I have no clue who the author is, but like I really want to read that book and It by Stephen King. Um, I have to get those books though. <laughs> Should we do a little bit of a TBR? Ooh, that would be fun! Okay, you see my pumpkin? It's so cute. Look at that. Anyways, um, TBR for October. Mid-September to mid-October. I really want to read the third Girl Online book because this is at fall time. I don't really know much about it, but I've read all two, all two, <laughs> the other two, and I loved those books so much. I want to finish this book and this book. <laughs> And as I said, the other psychological thrillers I was talking about earlier. I'd really like to read this book because I got it like a year ago, over a year ago, for the first day of freshman year. Now I'm a sophomore, still haven't read it. <laughs> oh my god, 
You guys wanna know another book I tried to pick up this month and couldn't read? This book. <laughs> This fucking book. Why did I buy this book? Ooh, I have too many books. So this book, this book here, Bellthorn wrote it. I, I I can't say I love Bellthorn, but I like used to love Bellthorn. She's kind of gotten a little whoop, but it's okay. She's having fun. She's 19, whatever, living her life. This is her first book. I think it's a trilogy. Oh my god, if I spent fucking $20 on this book. I think it's a middle grade. It feels like a middle, it's short as crap. And I was like, oh, it's short. I'll read it. I'll review it. I won't like it, whatever. Um, and for one, I started this book three years ago. I'm really great at keeping up with reading. Um, and the other thing is that it's just a book. Oh, it's so cliche and boring and I just can't. I just, I'm sorry, but I can't read this book. Like, I physically can't. Anyways, I need to stop rambling about books because I will never stop. <laughs> If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below some books you read recently. And if you haven't read a book, what are you doing? Read one of these books. Or don't. Read one of the ones I liked. Not, not the other ones. If you guys have read a cool book recently and you want to tell me about it, let me know down below. What is on your TBR for next month? Any spoopy books? Spoopy books you can recommend? Because I'm in the market. Anyways, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Check out my vlog channel. Like comment things i'm so tired and i will see you all in my very next video love you bye